today is our very, very last night in Windy. Today is the day we buy a house. We're a travel nurse family of five living in our 37 foot travel trailer for going on four years now. This winter, we're back in the Southwest. Welcome back to NOP. This week is an exciting week because phase one of our Phoenix plan has been completed. We own our own home. We have a home base officially in Phoenix and we're so excited. Wendy is parked right now in our backyard and we're gonna give you an update on the trailer situation soon, but we are no longer staying in Wendy. We, we are emptying her out and cleaning her out, getting her ready for a trade-in right now. And today we're going to take you through the whole process of the house and then we're gonna give you an updated tour later when we actually turn it into a rental home. Because remember, we aren't going to be here all year long. Our plan is to be here in the winter time for the one contract here, do all the home-based things, and then move on to another contract. And yes, we are planning to take a different contract and rent this out uh, probably starting June 1st. John's contract has been extended to May 21st so we have like a three month boot camp to get this place whipped into shape, furnish it, get it ready, figure it all out because we don't know what we're doing so we're gonna get it all ready to rent out while we are gone and uh, we're so excited to take you with us. We're on real time. This just happened this week so you are in the know on real time. Can you believe this is my backyard? I'm so excited. Yes, I am fighting a cold. I have been fighting a cold all week long. It is not COVID. I've tested myself. It's not COVID. It's just probably a stress-induced cold and it has made the moving in process a little bit more daunting. There were a lot of steps that had to take place in order to get to where we are today. So why don't you come along with me a few weeks ago, several weeks ago, when we first placed the offer on this property. Another offer on the same house. Hey. Hey. <laughs> That's the way the market goes. So fingers crossed. We hope we get it. We really like this house. Yep. You may remember this house from the video we aired a few weeks ago. It was one of the first ones we walked through and we knew right away that we loved it. We actually put an initial offer in for way too low and we were flat rejected. But after a week went by, our realtor verbally negotiated with theirs and we placed a second offer, which we knew the seller wouldn't pass up. Here well, ago. now if this isn't an omen, I don't naked. know what. <laughs> oh, well, to, to, so yeah. today is the inspection um, and the way that they do it here in Arizona is the inspector goes to the house first and does a complete run through and then invites you to come and walk through it with them. Um, so um, hopefully he keeps moving it back a little bit. It was it was supposed to be at like two and then it was at three thirty and now it's at four forty five or whatever it is. Yeah. Now, so Hope whatever. Not a bad sign. <laughs> hopefully not. Our realtor is meeting us there. So that's really good because um, we don't really know exactly what we're looking for looking at or what, se, what the or process what, is yeah what the process is what to ask them to fix before we close but this is really the last step we've gone through the approval process the financial approval process thankfully yep. we are through that process um they've done the appraisal and it came back at exactly what exactly we exactly what it. our offer was it's funny that how funny? that works yeah. and uh, so this is the last kind of big piece of the puzzle and we are hoping that we get to close early. Yeah, it'd be great we don't if we know. Close in like a week or two. It is vacant, so there's nobody that has to move out of it. And we're set to close March 1st, but we hope to get in it in it sooner than that. The house turned out to be in pretty great shape. It was built in 1978, but recently remodeled. The air conditioner was only a few years old, no structural issues, and only just minor things that we asked to be fixed. She declined them all, but gave us a concession to fix them ourselves. This actually worked out really well for us as it allowed us to move our closing date up. We're still nailing down mortgage stuff. Every single day, there is something else to do for the mortgage process, which it's just how it is, I know, but it can be so stressful when each day you're like, well, we have to show you, you have to have this, you have to have that. Or when it comes back from like the final, final, final review, and they're like, no, nope, you're declined. What? What What do you mean we're declined? Like what? They said, well, we approved it here, but then when it went to Fannie Mae, they had a different debt to income ratio requirement, and so it was declined. And we're like, okay, so what does that mean? Like, where, what do we do from here? 
ultimately it's fine. We just had to put more money down on the house than we anticipated. But things like that keep happening every day. It's been like 10 years since we've done any kind of mortgage process. So I didn't realize this is how they did it now, but it's all online. It's super easy and it gives us tasks. Well, it's easy. It's, okay. It's, I don't know if user I User friendly. It's, it's, it's user friendly. It's user friendly. Everything friendly. happens faster, that's for sure. Yes, it is very user friendly. However, the task list gets updated every single day and there are literally tasks to do every day, which has been part of the thing that is stressful about the home buying process. But we are on in the home stretch, we are in the closing process. So there's like four different areas, right? There's like the pre-approval, the loan processing, the approval, and then the closing. And we're all the way down to the closing part now. So whew, we're getting there. I cannot believe I am saying this out loud. We have three more nights in Wendy. And my birthday's tomorrow. And your birthday's tomorrow. We were trying to land the closing date on Valentine's Day because how cool would that be? It's the closing date is set for the 15th. We're all dealing with the cold <laughs> because when you're stressed, you're more susceptible to getting sick. But I have to document this because today is our very, very last night in Windy. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm happy, I'm sad. We move into our house tomorrow. We plan to park Wendy next to the house and empty her completely out into the house. And then we're going to attempt to go buy our rig and we'll be trading Wendy in. So literally tonight is the last night sleeping in Wendy and I don't know how I feel about it. Happy, sad? I wish that I felt better. Aaron and I are both kind of feverish right now. And John was feeling crummy yesterday, but he's feeling much better now. So that gives me hope that tomorrow I might feel okay for the closing and for moving all of our stuff into our new house. Today is the day. Today is the day we buy a house. <laughs> we think. Everything says we're closing today, but we don't know a time, so we're gonna make our way over there to North Scottsdale, have breakfast, and hope that they call us to come and sign our documents. I'm excited, but I'm also very I'm sad, sad about Wendy. Yeah. You're sad about Wendy. I think we all are. Yeah. Really? <laughs> no, mom and dad are like, we're not sad about Wendy. The kids are like, oh, Wendy, we grew up in Wendy. I'm not sad. We're still trying to get over this. All of us are trying to get over this. Well, our closing has been moved to 3 p.m. So we're going to get some lunch. It's just barely like 11.30. And then go back and pack up the rig in hopes that we could still move in tonight but it's looking slimmer and slimmer that tonight might be the night. Ugh, so sad. We cannot move our trailer onto the property until the seller has also signed. Here in Arizona, it's interesting. It's different than it is in Kansas. In Kansas, you sign and you get the keys and everything's funded right then and you're good to go. Here in Arizona, it takes a couple of days because they have to record it with the county. Even though you sign on one day, you don't actually take possession till sometimes two days later. We're on our way in to sign the papers for our new house. Nothing like driving into the sunset. So we're going to our new house. Bye. See you later. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you. Been walking down the street so many times, my feet know every brick and stone could wear a blindfold. Okay, we have arrived in the dark because Farnsworth life. We're gonna see if our slides open because it's pretty tight here. We're making an impression on the neighborhood right now. <laughs> Good morning from our backyard. You guys playing a game? Yeah, it's called What Do You Mean? What do you mean? We've been following.
following us, you know that this is, like I said, phase one of our plan here in Phoenix. Phase two is to get a new toy hauler and phase three is to get a new truck to pull said toy hauler. So we did, we have closed officially. This is ours, it's in the books. And we have submitted our financial documentation and, and application to the RV dealership who is holding a toy hauler for us. So we have already picked out, but we have not heard back on it yet. It is under review with their finance department. So we don't have any news on that yet, but we hope to share with you really soon on how all that's going. We are so thrilled to be homeowners again and residents of the Phoenix metro area. We look forward to coming back here every year and taking some downtime for ourselves and enjoying the desert around us. And we also look forward to what is to come in the future. We thank you for coming with us on our journey as we are in real time right now. And we have no idea what's going to happen this week. So it's going to be a surprise for us too. So join us next week and we'll see you out there.